wow, it all looks so good. I can't make up my mind. Kevin, what would you recommend? But I don't see any crude ETs. Hello everyone. Before we dive into our next short, Care of the Hair and Nails, I thought it might be nice to show you who's catering our little soiree. He's right over there. Hello, chef. Yo. Zappo, where's the chef? You are looking at him. What happened to the celebrity chef I hired? He took the check and ran out. Ew. Celebrity chef Gordon Blue took the check and ran out. No, random schmo pretending to be a celebrity chef Gordon Blue took the check and ran out. Ugh. I can't believe some random schmo has the same name as a celebrity chef took our money. I can't believe you're trying to hire a celebrity chef to make checks make some pigs in a blanket. Those are still those are still frozen. But that one's mine. Ew. <laughs> Roger's Woodcutter's Cottage. I always keep that picture on my wall, just to remind me how many boys and girls still need my help. And you are. Of course, there are fewer like that every year. I'm quite and scared I right now. The many children I've helped, and how much happier I've made them. Joan Gans Cooney. As I sit here in my chair, oh, but you can't see me, can you? Uh, don't go through any trouble on our make account. Myself visible. She's adjusting her dial. Mrs. Claus now begins her broadcast day. There. I keep myself invisible most of the time. That way it's easier for me to help boys and girls learn good habits. Like smoking Lots and talking back to their parents. Helping them. Let me tell you about one boy I've been helping. His name is Stanley. This is his parable. I need my magic wand to take you to him. Ready? Um. Let's go. Ah! I'd already helped Stanley a lot. Ow! He had many good habits. He washed his face at least twice a day, and his hands four or five times a day. Oh dear washcloth, whisper sweet nothings into my he ear. Every day without having to think about it. Because then again, he doesn't think about much of anything. But there was one habit Stanley hadn't learned yet. He didn't clean his fingernails when he washed his hands. And goodness how dirty they were. They're wearing eyeliner! So I decided to use my magic. She pops Stanley! Okay. Stanley, dirty nails carry germs, and they look ugly too. Who are you, you to decide what's beautiful? I was being reversed by whole nothing from reality shatter! Stanley learned that a good scrubbing with a stiff fingernail brush every morning and night at least. Makes Made Jack a dull boy. Why does the sink have a mail slot? While you're at it, clean your disembodied monkey's paw. He learned to dry his hands carefully, especially around the fingernails. He rubbed them so raw Once they got infected. Good habits, no one ever scolded him for dirty nail gan. What's nail gan? A washing his hair every week is another good habit I helped Stanley learn. Every week? I taught him to start by washing his comb and brush each time he washes his hair. With powdered chlorine. There are always hairs in a hairbrush. I'll tell you why in a moment. No, After you can't eyes, leave us hanging he like his this. Brush in soapy water, and then rinses every bit of soap out. Not the chemical shower. He washes his hair under the shower. Warm water, a mild soap or shampoo, and, and the purified the blood of my victims. Takes. He 
bones with his fingertips, not his fingernails, so that he doesn't hurt the tender skin under the hair. Which is my favorite when part to eat. Off his, wing, his hair is fairly clean, but not quite clean enough. Being filmed while I shower, this is worse than gym class. Jeez, quarter size amounts, kid. And plenty of rib. Red? Now those are some of the good habits I helped Stan learn. Stan learn? Now I promise to tell you why they're always hairs in a hairbrush. Is it a hairbrush? Well, you don't get teeth near to Cooper Cooper. When you looked in the mirror, you Howdy could see closer a real boy. and closer and closer. We're close enough, thanks. And suppose you could see right through your skin. You're ultra you naked. Where the hair grows from. If your magic eyes could speed up the growing, you'd be 80 you'd before you knew it. New growth always comes at the root. As the hair gets longer and longer, down, it down, the down. A new hair starts to grow and pushes against the old one. Out of the way, Gramps! Young hairs today always disrespecting her elders. Well, she pulls out the old hair and leaves the new one. If I own place. If your magic eyes look closer, Again. you see little on each hair. These facts make which protects your skin and hair from getting too to spread this oil all over your hair and makes it glossy and pretty. This soundtrack has more holes than a fan theory. When this oil gets dirty, your so filter needs replacing. It so it can be washed away. But every bit of the soap must be rinsed out afterwards, since any soap that's left will leave a dull film over your hair and keep it from looking again. This shirt needs a new ad editor too. No, it just needs some tender loop worth of batteries. The I'll give it some tender loop for a bar and a baseball bat. Why are you doing that? The edge of the cuticle. Doesn't look very cute to me. Sometimes a bit of the skin can form the hangnail. If this happens, chop off your finger and grow a new one. And you'll grow. It should be trimmed to just cover your fingertip. Your tender, succulent fingertip. Now your hair can get sick. And Ralph all over your head. Anything, be sure to tell your parents or teacher about it right away. Ah! It might be a disease called Stop dengue. Doing that! It makes your head itch. I'm the avatar! Sometimes the hair falls out in patches. A doctor can help cure this disease. With electroshock. Another disease is dandruff. Or you may find that Make sure to get your dandruff shots yearly. Flakes. You have little white specks that look like tiny eggs. And that's just what they are. So make tiny they're omelets. Nits, and they're the eggs of head lice. They're easy to get rid of. Just set so your head on fire. Teach you about them right away. Anyone might get a disease. I have several the right now. The guard is to keep yourself clean. Don't use anybody's comb but your own. But I have no comb to call my own. Now, keeping clean is only part of caring for your hair and nails. Weekly Let waxing and buffing is a must. I helped. Her name is Alice. I use my magic wand again. Ready? Buckle up, guys. With what? Ah! Oops. She certainly needed to learn some good habits in caring for her hair. I feel ugly. Oh, so ugly. The beauty industry has damaged my self-esteem. So I use my magic. She popped Alice. I the mad popper is loose. Run for your lives. Why is the door locked? Oh, the thrill of it all. Oh. Oh. Leave me, foul ribbon. So I helped her learn the habit of brushing her hair every night, a hundred strokes or more. Stroke, stroke, like stroke! Bail, bail, bail! It's worth taking the time for. It makes hair gleam and glisten. But even more important, it makes hair healthier, too. But it's only with new Vita brush. For boys as it is for girls. I, mean, I don't want to sound mean, but I she is spooky looking. girls learn that habit. Honey, you've been brushing her hair for three days now. Please stop. Fifteen. Well, that's good enough. Alice learned to take care of her nails, too. She files them to keep them from getting too long. Doing so quarterly to give her a good credit She's rating. Careful not to get them too short. Lee, press on fingers. 
She makes her nails pretty too by pushing the cuticle off the nail. Despite it paying its rent on time. Piece of wood called an orange stick. No! Uh, oil softens the cuticle. It's easier to push back. Why is beauty so horrifying? Oh, name that tune. Oh, here's a hang nail. Don't pick at it. Nails. They're pieces of skin that start to pull away from the nail. Drying Great. Your fingers Where did well Mom put my cleaver? Hang nails. I helped Alice learn no, the habit please, of cutting no, off I love the you. instead of pulling my take off tooch. Take off tooch? You You're wouldn't like to tooch when he's angry. Alice. And all the girls help to learn good habits. Once you've learned a good habit, it'll work for you all your life. Such little things as brushing your nails to clean when cavities. you wash your hands. Fair every week, or oftener if it needs it. Did she just brushing say oftener? Fabric oftener. Boo! A boy or girl. And keeping your nails trimmed. Not too long and not too short. But just right. Those are some good habits that many boys and girls have already learned. But there are still some who need my help. That's because more children are being born every day. You can't possibly help all of them. Your job is never ending. Your mission is fruitless. Stop nodding at us! If you left your credit card at a restaurant within arm's reach of a big fat man named Terrence, press 184 now. <sighs> if you were scammed out of a check by some random schmo who happens to share a name with a famous celebrity chef, press 185 now. Aha! We're sorry, the option you have selected is no longer valid as no one has ever been stupid enough to fall for it before. What? If you would like to be connected to an actual person, press FNARG now. FNARG? Same to you, buddy! My phone doesn't have a FNARG button! Check again! Oh. Just a moment, we are connecting your call. <laughs> Hello, my name is Guy. Thank you for calling the Money Grubberts uh, National Bank Helpline. How may I help you? Ow. Well, for starters, you can stop yelling. I'm not yelling. This is the natural volume of my voice. His poor parents. Could you whisper then, please? Okay, how's this? Much better. Okay, how can I help you now? I tried to use option 185 in your automated answering system, and it said it's no longer a valid option. Then it said I was stupid. I need to look up option 185. Hold on for just a second. Okay. La 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 la! Added up right here. So, you were bamboozled by some guy pretending to be a celebrity chef, huh? Yes, and... Well, that's not all that uncommon this time of year. Creeps like them seem to crawl out of the woodwork on November 1st. Well, that's good to know, but... Why, last just week, my sister thought she actually managed to get Cat Cora to cater her Christmas party, when it was actually Cora catering, and her cook was some big, fat, hairy guy named Montenegro. He made the best mini quiches, though. That's nice, but I need to cancel the check the guy ran off with. Oh. Well, there's no need to shout. I wasn't shouting. Hold on just a second. I'm sorry, you can't cancel a check until our main offices reopen on January 2nd. But I've been waiting through options for an old, for, 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 for an hour! Can't you do something? Sorry, I'm just another automated answering computer. Nobody's actually working tonight. It's New Year's Eve. Thank you for calling and have a nice night. <laughs>